This movie describes how to use the activity zooming integers, hundreds, thousands, and beyond. Here we have a red point sitting on a number line, and our goal is to estimate the location of the point as closely as we can. Well, the point seems to be closer to 20 than 30, so I'll estimate that its location is 22. Now imagine we had a magnifying glass and could zoom in on this portion of the line between 20 and 30 to get a better look at this point's location. Well, in fact, we have a virtual magnifying glass and that is obtained by pressing this button, zoom. Let's watch what happens. Notice that the portion of the number line between 20 to 30 is expanded we see the same red point at the same location, but now we have some additional information, these tick marks. And the tick marks allow us to read the value of this point exactly. Our point is at 23. Just to check, we could press Show Location. And we can also press Animate Point and watch what happens. Animate Point moves the point along one integer at a time and now notice as the point is between 30 and 40, our second number line now shows that interval between 30 to 40. And now that interval will switch to 40 to 50. So this gives us a way of tracking the point's location more accurately as it moves along the first number line. I'll press Animate Point to stop the animation. I can press Reset to return to just one number line. And I'll press New Random Point to give myself a new point to identify. I can even create a challenge for my friend by dragging this point and placing it anywhere I like. Now when this challenge becomes too easy of working on a 0 to 100 number line, you'll be ready to move on to the next challenges. For instance, here we have a 0 to 1000 number line. So it looks like to me that this point is sitting at 650. Let's check by zooming in on the portion of the number line between seven, 600 and 700. Again, we see the same red point sitting at the same location, and it looks like 650 wasn't a bad guess, but it's a little less than 650. So perhaps we're at 647. Well, for this set of number lines, we can zoom in a second time and get an even better estimate. So I'll press the second zoom button. And now we're zooming in on the interval between 640 and 650. And we see the exact location of the point. It's at 648. As before, we can show its location. We can animate the point and watch its movement simultaneously along three number lines. We can reset our problem and we can create a new problem for ourselves by pressing New Random Point. Finally, we have two more number lines, one between 0 and 10,000, where you have to zoom in three times to see the exact location of the point, and 0 to 100,000, where four zooms are required to see the exact location. So in each problem, the location of the point is an exact integer along the number line. So this explains how to use the activity Zooming Integers. I should say that it was created, the idea behind it, by Paul Goldenberg at Education Development Center. And if you finish this activity, you should move on to our next two activities, which involve Zooming Decimals.